Hey guys, it's Tasha here from Art Song and Soul, and I just wanted to make this little um, video and share with you what I've just um, completed making. Um, this, what you're looking at here, is a little shabby chic dream catcher that I just created, and um, I'm not sure who the original who the original idea is um, from, and there could be a video on YouTube. I'm not sure, but I actually got this idea from a friend who has been making these. She um, sells really unique children children's wear and um, crocheted hats with beautiful flowers on them some of which I actually um, sell her, so that's cool. Um, and headbands, and um, she's got small children, so she's um, she sort of does those kind of beautiful creations. She makes these, but they're not um, quite so shabby chic. They they were more colourful, and um, when I saw it, I messaged her and said, would you mind if I make one of these? I'm, you know, I won't be selling them, you know, it's just for a friend because um, I just thought this was such a gorgeous idea and um, I wanted to make this for a special friend so this is how it turned out and I'm pretty pleased I think this would look beautiful in, in a baby's room um, you could make it more vintagey, more colourful I think this is a great idea and so easy, easy, peasy, squeezy to make um, so what all I did was I got some wire and I fashioned it into a circle and I covered it with some ribbon and then I got my doily these beautiful doilies that everyone's into and I'm into them too but over here in New Zealand they're really hard to get your hands on them and if you can it's so expensive it's it's ridiculous so um, I really you know try and make the best of my of these doilies because they're hard to come by where I am where I am so yeah and um all I did was I just threaded, or did I weave? No, I thread some string, and it was just normal old string, this kind of string that I usually tie onto my tags. And I just caught the little tips of the doily, threaded it over the wire, and back through all the way around till I got back up to the top where I joined it. And it really is so easy. And um, I just think the ideas of embellishing these um, are endless. Um, on mine, I've used some of my hand-crafted flowers. And um, I have got a couple of tutorials of um, the flowers that I make loaded up. So um, I'll put the link down below if you want to see how I make um, some of my flowers. I actually learned how to make these ribbon roses from way back from um, Cynthia Luhu so I'll put the link to that video as well these are off um, some of those that rosette trim I just cut a couple of off of those and that's just a simple lace flower and uh, another little lace flower there I've just tied a little satin bow and I just attached all these um, ribbons some I tied on and some I just glued um, where I wanted them to go and I've got some lace, some satin ribbon, some pearl strings, some organza, some pink lace um, I cut long strips of these you know how you cut the, the, the crocheted tablecloth up and then you have those long edges, well I cut those into long strips um, I really like this, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's trim or lace or whatever but it's kind of feels like it's canvas to be honest but I love that and I only have a short supply but I just love it for everything and it's a little bit different yeah some more satin ribbon so that was what I created and I hope my friend likes it and I really love this idea and I will be sure to um, put the link of my friend's um, page her name is Amy and her shop is called Marcosa and I most definitely have pronounced that wrong guys so um, don't quote me on that one but the way I see it that's how I say it <laughs> that I have some really weird ideas so um, I don't know if that's correct so I'll put my link to her um, she makes a lot of things for small kids and you know 
ballerina outfits and gorgeous headbands and all that yummy stuff. Um, I get a little bit <laughs> when I see some of her stuff on her page because my babies are big, are big kids now and I still feel like I'm young to have little kids so I get a little bit clucky sometimes when I see all the gorgeous things that she makes. So I just wanted to share that for you guys because I'm about to package it up and send it off to you. I don't know if this video is going to come out a little bit dark. It seems like every time I make a video I have some kind of issue, whether it be lighting or tripod issues or I can't talk properly. Hopefully I'm slowly getting it right. So I'll just give you one more little look of that. So I'll try and take some photos and hopefully they'll come out a little bit clearer for you. I'd be keen to see if anyone gives this a go guys. Um, you're always welcome to post any of your creations on my Facebook page. Come over there and check me out, make friends and chat and all that kind of stuff. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Art Song and Soul all day, every day.